Upload data on Nepal IRD server. In this presentation, we'll discuss about uploading data on IRD server. This presentation is for our Nepal clients only. In Nepal, there is a requirement to upload data on IRD server for sales and sales return voucher. So, Busy has provided this facility that as soon as you save a sale or sale return voucher, Busy will ask you to upload data on IRD server and on clicking the yes button, you can upload the data on IRD server. First of all, we'll start with company creation. We'll go to company menu, create company option, specify the name of your company, print name, select country. Here we are selecting the country as Nepal, specify date type. Here we are selecting the date type as Nepali date as we are creating the company for Nepal. Specify financial year beginning from, books commencing from, specify the address of your company and then is your IT pen very important please enter IT pen very carefully as if you enter a wrong IT pen then you would not be able to upload data on IRD server so enter IT pen of your company one more thing to note here is that when you will be entering IT pen for your parties in the account master then please cross check them again as if you have not entered ID pen correctly for your company or for your parties, then you will face problem while uploading data on IRD server. Specify currency related details, specify VAT related details, TIN number of click save button to create a company, specify valid super user name and password for the company and on the screen you can see a features option window is appearing. Click VAT GST tab. Here specify why in the data upload on IRD option to enable uploading of data on IRD server. Specify username and password as specified by the government to you and click save button to save this configuration. So we have created a company specified IT pan and here we have enabled the option of data upload on IRD to enable the uploading of data on IRD server. Next an important point to note is that for uploading data on IRD server you must follow a unique voucher numbering. Basically vouchers numbers should be unique in order to upload them on IRD server. For this we'll set the voucher numbering to automatic. We'll go to administration configuration vouchers configuration select the sales option series required series and click the voucher numbering button select the numbering type as automatic here we are embedding year in voucher numbering as prefix and in suffix we are specifying our company name so you can follow any other approach as per your requirement to set voucher numbering as unique it is a must step you must specify the vouch numbering to automatic and specify the criteria for making the vouchers number unique now we will come to our transactions part we'll go to transactions sales add option specify header related details of the voucher party material center select item specify bill sundry here we are applying VAT 13% bill sundry click save button to save the voucher on saving the voucher busy has asked that do you want to upload data on IRD portal click yes button to upload data on IRD server so it's very simple on saving the voucher busy has asked itself to upload data on IRD server and on clicking the yes button you can see a message box that data has been uploaded successfully it is recommended that you upload data on IRD server at the time of voucher saving itself in any case if you are unable to upload data on IRD server at the time of voucher saving then you can use the utility upload data on IRD server provided under administration utilities menu please note that use this utility only if you have faced any problem in uploading data on IRD server at the time of voucher saving select the voucher type specify starting date ending date click the show list button and select the required vouchers basically this will show the vouchers which are not yet uploaded on IRD server and click upload button to upload data on IRD server now we will come to our reporting part we'll go to display MIS reports materialized view table we are selecting sales option here specify starting date ending date and you can see the report that is details of various vouchers here one column is sync with IRD it is showing yes that means this voucher is uploaded on IRD server one more column is there is real time if this column shows yes then this means that this voucher has been uploaded on IRD server at the time of voucher saving itself if the voucher is not uploaded on IRD server at the time of voucher saving then this column will show the value as no so this is our materialized view table report and this is the complete process for uploading data on IRD server Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily upload data on IRD server. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.